Hey guys, welcome to my video. I am your host, The J-Man. And today I'd like to be talking about girls and texting. Okay? Why do women, in particular, why do women or girls like to text so much? Um, why is it that they can't stop texting on their phone all the time? How has it become such an addiction? And this is something I really kind of struggle to understand and want to get to the bottom of it. And I'm not just saying that only women are addicted to texting. I mean, some guys text quite a bit. I'll admit it. Uh, I don't particularly do it, but this is more specific towards women, I think. I think it becomes a bigger habit for them. Um, yeah, texting, phone texting. I just, I don't get it. Um, why, why do they prefer to text over talking on the phone or instant message now not to say that I don't understand texting has its advantages its benefits but to me all of those benefits all of those advantages are outweighed by something else like for instance text message to me is outweighed by email I think email is more convenient except for the fact well you have to be at home sitting in front of your computer but isn't that what you want to do when you're trying to communicate with someone that way? You don't want to be like in the middle of driving down the street or, you know, something like that. But, you know, I get the I get the idea that sometimes you're just sitting at work or sitting at uh, school and you're kind of bored and you wish you could talk to someone, but you really can't talk on the phone because, you know, other people around you would hear it and it would be disrupting. So you just do a little text. I understand that. But when you prefer to text, like... 90% of the time over any other type of communication. That's a problem to me. In my book, that's a social problem. And the more popular texting is be has become, the more popular it becomes, the more of a danger or a risk we have of isolating ourselves from each other. Um, the more risk we run of separating ourselves as human beings, being cut off from each other, and communication really going down the drain. Um, it's hard enough to trust people as it is, and now with all this like convenience factor, like why should I ever even talk to a person face to face? In the future, we could be looking at a society where people never even um, shake each other's hands or look each other in the eye. They, their all communication could be done through you know some type of technology, and that would be horrible. That's a horrible idea to think of like we become so unattached to each other unfamiliar with each other as human beings uh, it's really sad to see uh, youth growing up with all this technology readily available and they depend on it so much like it's their sole communication it's good to communicate but if all of your communication is digital then that's it's a step backwards it's a real step backwards. So I tend to think that girls rely on texting because they're shy um, or they're not quite sure of how to express themselves or maybe they aren't comfortable with the way their voice sounds or something like that. But um, I wish people would just start seeing the light and seeing the truth that texting is really inferior and all of this Twitter and stuff like that—it's just unnecessary and, and really confusing. Not that trying to use the con technology is confusing. That's not the confusing part. The communication, the back and forth—it just lacks so much. It's so unpreferable to me. But you know, uh, if you know someone who's addicted to texting. Um, what do you think it is that uh, motivates them to text instead of uh, just call someone up on the telephone or even, you know, send a letter to a company? Of course, everything is done, you know, digitally now. But there's still something traditional and elegant about, like, a handwritten letter. It's more personal. It's more kind of emotional from the heart. Anyone can just sit in front of a computer screen and type something up at the convenience, you know, when they're sitting there in their pajamas. Anyone can do that, but to actually 
come face to face with the person, sit down with them. That's a whole different ball game. That's a lot more meaningful and more significant. Uh, I, it's a shame to see that society is getting so far away from that. But um, texting. I think whoever invented texting, they just came up with the absolute jackpot for making money off of cell phone technology. Um, it's such a gimmick to get your money constantly. Like, I understand there's unlimited plans where you can text as much as you want, but that's an ongoing monthly fee, and you're never going to give that up. Let's face it. Um, and they're just constantly coming out with new and improved ways of texting just to get your money, to get you to spend more money on upgrades, a better phone, um, a new, download a new app, when really all you need to do is call someone on the phone. Just talk to them. You don't need to do all this typing and have all this advanced technology. It's really simple. Um, a phone conversation is a lot more memorable than a text. You know how easy it is to forget a text conversation you had? It's pretty damn easy compared to an actual phone conversation where you hear the highs and lows of a person's voice, the, the emotion they put into things. But anyway, that's just my spiel on the whole texting craze and I wish it would I wish it would start to fade out, but I have to kind of face facts that it's just getting more and more popular. But please send me your opinion on this. I'd really like to get the ball rolling and discuss more about this ongoing craze. But thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.